do one. And then I have our live screen, which will be in Finiscreen for a second, but it's fine. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, we're doing something a little bit new today, so I'm really hoping that it comes out great. If you're noticing anything about the screen that might be looking a little odd, maybe frame drops or anything, please let me know. Um, just because we were having some issues with Discord, and I want to make sure that this is watchable. Um, so this is stream 11 of Filthy Casuals, which is really awesome. And I'm joined with some lovely guests, some who you have seen before and one who you have not. So welcome, um, Benny, Ali, and ALK. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, so I know that, you know, we've had two of you on before, but I still want y'all to like go round robin, introduce yourselves and a little bit about the deck that you're playing. So we'll go in turn order. So Benny, I like that you're covering um, his mouth. I think that's very, <laughs> I really like it. Ah. <laughs> Hi, I'm um, Benny Smith. Uh, you probably know me from Star City Games. I write about Commander over there every week. And uh, uh, today I am playing Brokos Apex of Forever. And um, this is uh, my mutate net, my mutate deck. I just got the new cards um, this week, and I've been excited to give them a try. So, anyway, uh, this is going to be a soul tie mutate deck. Going to have a good time. Yay! I'm excited. Alrighty, Ali, I love your sleeves. Like those are actually really badass. I like those a lot. Thank you. You want me to talk about my deck? Talk about you and your deck. Who are you? Me. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't really know who I am, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, uh, my name's Allie. Uh, a lot of you know me from Twitter or Twitch as Mebo, Mythic Mebo. I am playing Damia today. I just got the uh, foreign one in the mail, too. I also just have, like, too many Damias. But... <laughs> There's no such thing as um... too many Damias. <laughs> But, um, she, yeah, she was just, like, one of my favorite commander decks when I was really into commander, so she wanted, I wanted her to be the first commander deck I rebuilt when I started getting back into commander, so just finish this up, very excited to play some paper commander I haven't in years. I know, that's where you got your start, too, so this will be kind of fun to just, like, have a chill night of just, like, some commander and fun. Oh, Yeah. Also, who is that man in the bottom left corner with the sultry, bassy, deep voice? Hey, it's me, ALK Alters, <laughs> purposely going as low as his register can bear. Oh my god. Um, so I am also playing my new mutate deck, which is Vadrock Apex of Thunder. I just got the cards this week, and I'm very excited to play with them, okay, Benny? <laughs> and... Bringing the thunder. <laughs> He's bringing the thunder. One of y'all will be sent to the Shadow Realm today, as is custom on this stream. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it very much. Um, and so without further ado, I am also... I am not playing a, um, a mutate... But I'm in playing her in spirit. It's Atla Polani Nestender. Um, so she is a protector of dinosaurs, but in, in actuality, my deck is about destroying their eggs and seeing what goodies lie inside. So I'm very excited to play some fun, beautiful paper games with some flavorful and fun decks. And I've also never played against a Damia deck, so this will actually be a new for me. Um, so I know that we already, let's see, we already rolled. So um, I'll be going first, and the turn order will be me, Benny, Allie, and ALK. So are all of y'all going to be keeping your hands? Yep. Um, I have uh, lands and spells, so I think that's a key. Perfect. Yeah. Alrighty, so without further ado, I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to do the most interesting turn one play, which is just a tapped jungle shrine, and I will be passing. Alright, I will draw. And I will play a tapped overgrown tomb and pass to Allie. Ooh. Draw a card. Ooh. Gosh, play paper. I miss this so much. This makes me so happy. Um, I'm going to play a Bayou and pass turn. 
All right, I will draw. I will play a Flooded Strand tap and crack it, paying one life, and get a tapped uh, Raugen Rin Trigon, the, the Jeskai Triome, and pass. Beautiful. Let's see. We're going to do a Mountain, tapping two to play a Gruul Signet, and then I will also be passing. Is this actually just a secret test to... Uh pronounce every card correctly because I'm going to fail. You're <laughs> totally okay. <laughs> Raugrin, yeah. I cannot pronounce that either. <laughs> I thought it was Raugrin, so there you go. I don't know. Alright, I uh, play a Nim Death Mantle and pass the turn to Allie. Oh, I gotta read this one. Let's see. Cool. All right. So I think the the interaction with mutate is if I bring back the creature that the mutated creature that dies with Nim, then I've then all the the mutated pieces will come back separated. Yes, yeah. that's how I understand it. Okay. Play an arcane signet and pass turn. All right. Draw. I just heard thunder. Uh -oh. I'm so scared that my screen is going to cut out again. <laughs> I cannot know. Oh. Play a island and then a that's a burnished heart. That's the wrong card. <laughs> a walking atlas and pass. I'm good at magic. I know how to not reveal my information. I love. Uh, you know what? Burn I've come to really appreciate burnished heart uh, as of late. So I vibe. I mean, burnished with it. heart is great in not uh, in most non-green decks and a good number of green decks too. Okay, so I'm gonna play a Rogue's Passage, and I'm going to, let's see, tap the Rogue's Passage to tap Girl Signet for one, two, and then three and four, and we're gonna go ahead and cast my commander at La Polani. Um, uh oh. Yeah, she's Arch just... enemy set. No, it's fine. It's <laughs> like a I don't even know how to play magic, so it's fine. Um, and I'm going to pass the turn to Benny, and that's going to be it. All right, I'm going to play a Lumbering Falls. And... I will play a Black Blade Reforged. And then I will pass to Allie. Oof, so many cards that I don't know. Oh. Alright. Hmm. I'm like really bad at Commander because I am scared of making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> um, play a wasteland, and I will play a zombie infestation. Ooh. Oh, that goes nicely with Damia. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, then I will pass turn. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Um, I will play an island for turn. And then I will um, cast this burnish chart. Didn't see that one coming, am I right? What? And then I'll pass. <laughs> Alrighty. I really hope my power doesn't go out, or I'm going to be so sad. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm um, going to play another mountain. Um, let's see. I'm going to tap my mountain to tap my gruel signet to tap <sighs> her. And I'm gonna get boop. Let me grab my little pen here. Uh, I lost like all my my egg tokens, so I now have to like hand artisan craft my own. So that's beautiful. We'll just do a little boink. There he is, little little eggy boy. He's a zero one, just chilling out egg. Love it. Yeah, excellent. Right? It's uh, excellent. Oh, dang it. You already made the point. <laughs> Ignore everything I say, please. <laughs> I am the worst um, 
<laughs> I'm gonna tap two to play a goblin bombardment. Uh oh. And I am going to sack. This seems good. I'm gonna sack my egg to deal a damage to Benny because those two artifacts are scaring me. Okay. And then I'm going to it. immediately flip to see what. I get a polyraptor. Cool. <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> no! Jesus. Uh -oh. I'm gonna pass the turn to Benny, <laughs> and that'll be it for me. See, arch enemy. It's not. I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> you just have a polyraptor and a damage source on the board. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing could go wrong. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about that infinite combo. It's beautiful. <laughs> hey, infinite tokens. I have to draw a cuter looking egg, but. All right, so I'm gonna go. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go fetch a swamp and put it into play tapped and then pass to Allie. Oh my god, I can hear the rain through my headphones. I am terrified. <laughs> Five mana, huh? I'm going to tap all five of the mana for an acidic slime. Goblin and... bombardment? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Whew. Hey, Yay, Allie! Allie is the hero that we needed. <laughs> At the end of turn, I'm gonna tap my walking atlas to put this planes onto the battlefield. Then I'm gonna tap this planes and cast swords to plowshares, targeting the polyraptor. Y'all are just being hateful. <laughs> Y'all are being hateful here, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, uh, your last turn spooked all of us, so we're just <laughs> being precautious. Um, then I will crack my burnish. Oh, I'll wait to crack it because that's technically the optimal play. Uh, I will just pass. Also, heads up, I'm just going to like ask you guys, if indeed my power does go out, please, I'm hoping we can reschedule if it does, but I'm going to hope with the heart of the cards that it won't, because I'll be very sad. Chase, yes? remember you gain life equal to the Polyraptor's power um, thank from you. swords. That was beautiful. I thought you were going to be like, Chase, we love you, but no, it was just like a life gain reminder. But I still appreciate it. It's the thought <laughs> that, that goes is, That's it. the language of love, is reminding you that you need to gain life. <laughs> thank you. Exactly. That's okay. what was in my vows. Okay, that was in my vows. I'm going to play a Blossoming Sands. I'm going to go up a life. And then you're going to see the return of a very cute egg token. But this one is better, stronger, and more powerful. I'm going to tap my mountain to tap the girl's signet for two to her. And there's an egg. That one is way cuter than my other one. Just a little egg. Um... Then I'm going to tap one, two, three for an Ashnod's altar. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> she has infinite sack outlets in that it, deck. It will never go away. Um, and I'm going to sacrifice my egg for uh, just two colorless mana. We're going to reveal the top card until I get a creature. Aw. That was a good card. Let's see. Nope. 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 Do you run creatures the in your deck? I got Zatalpa. Alright. I got Zatalpa. I'm gonna, um... Zatalpa does not have haste. Uh, my mana disappears. <laughs> I'm gonna God. pass the turn. And that'll be it. Um, Milkrate in the chat asks, Hi, what's your most realistic card? Which I'm not exactly sure what that's <laughs> yeah. supposed to mean as a question I, I, I was wondering if it's as me as an altarist or uh, to other people so please clarify if you could feel great um this <laughs> <laughs> that is about as good as it gets for me i mean all of these cards are very realistic because they're real all right so i'm gonna play shadow spear uh, okay. Spooky. You're scaring me, Benny. <laughs> and I'm gonna attach it to the Farhaven Elf. Oh yeah. 
And I will say um, to my fellow scared uh, companions that I can, for one mana, um, remove Hexproof and Indestructible from uh, creatures until the end of the turn. So if somebody has a way of dealing with Zapaltra, I will be happy to invest a mana for the cause. It's, ju <laughs> it's just <laughs> Indestructible right now, right? Zatalpa has flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, and indestructible. I could just try and click on it and see what happens. Hey, it worked. Right, yeah. see? It's pretty cool. So anyway, just uh, wanted to throw that out there, and I will pass the turn to Allie. If I uh, ever get something to deal with that, I'll let you know. But, uh, <laughs> okay. It's not looking, not looking hopeful right now. Yeah. I mean, I have some ways, too, but... Uh... I haven't drawn them either. I mean, we do also need at some point very soon to deal with the Atla Polani for a turn or two. Because, <laughs> like, she's just um, popping out monsters one by one. Yeah, they're bobbing. They're cute. They don't do anything. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, island. This is, yeah, this is six mana. I can count. It's the best skill I have. I'll play a Sire of Stagnation. Oh, jeez. What does that do? Um, land enters. So in response to the casting of the Sire, I will pop my Burnished Hearts. Reasonable. <laughs> Get those lands while you can. <laughs> exactly. And, and I will get two mountains. After this is done doing its thing and resolving you're you're free to go oh my <laughs> god the thunder i think i heard that yeah, yeah I think I heard that too. <laughs> it was not supposed to rain today i promise you i plan better than this hey okay i think uh, chase is stealing your thunder <laughs> the base of nature outweighs the basic <laughs> tones of your voice <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Um. Um. GG Norma. Right now we're using Spell Table, um, and I'm casting it to Twitch with Streamlabs OBS. Um. Let's cast. Well, for its mutate cost, my oh. commander, Vadrak. Apex of Thunder, it's going to enter the battlefield on top of my walking atlas, which is not a human. Um, whenever this creature mutates, I can cast a non-creature card with converted mana cost three or less from my graveyard without paying its mana cost. Um, so I am going to cast Swords to Plowshares, targeting Zatalpa. You know what? It's fine. It's to its power, right? Yeah. So You're you just setting me life. up for an Aetherflux Reservoir. <laughs> so it's fine. And that is gonna be it for me. Okay, untap. Upkeep and draw. Let's see. I'm gonna play a uh, high market. So I have to mill until, let's see. Exile two, exile and two. Allie draws two cards. Okay, I'm at exile. It's a top two, right? Or am I yeah, getting there? Top okay, two. Cool. Yeah. Um, Kodama's Reach and yeah, Agirid's no. Belligerence are exiled. Okay. Um. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna tap this. Tap for my girl signet to tap the Atla to get an egg. I'm actually going to sacrifice that egg for two colorless mana. Let's let's play creature roulette. Oh, I got a chicken egg. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice my chicken egg to get two more colorless mana and reveal the top until I get something. Nesting dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, so... Uh, five, six, seven... I have to do some brain plays because I'm not good at using my brain which is very apparent um one two three four 
So seven. Okay, I have to do math because I'm not good at it. So seven three. Okay, um, I'm gonna sacrifice three of this. Well, I'm gonna use three of this mana. So I have one floating, and tap this for two green, and I'm gonna play Galta. Yikes. Jeez. Yikes. So um, many big dinosaurs. So many big dinos. Also, Tim Zwar, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't have anything else that I can do currently. So I am going to uh, pass the turn. All right. All right, so I'll play a Soul Ring. <clears throat> and I will cast Cross and Grip on the Ashton's altar. Oh, that's a good one. You you strike me down, I only become stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See, that whenever that I play fun. Atla, I never draw my sack outlets, so I'm very jealous. I've drawn three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all I have, so I will pass to Allie. No one wants to play any lands. Well, it, I didn't draw one. I drew a soul mm -hmm. ring, so. I played counts. land. Hmm. All right. What do we have? So another turn has gone by, and Chase is still terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you have a board wipe, I probably wouldn't mind a board wipe right now. Uh. Well, I don't have one of those, so let's see. What can I do? Tim's War in the chat is correct. Sire of Stagnation is... I mean, it's basically a less good Consecrated Sphinx, mm -hmm. and Consecrated Sphinx is insane, so... Yeah. Sire's so good in an Una deck. Like, it's insane. I'm gonna play my commander. There she is! She's glorious. Beautiful. And I'll pass her and hope she doesn't die. Alrighty. Untap. Draw. Hmm. All right, I will tap six and cast this Sun Titan. Ooh -wee. Uh, when Sun Titans enters the battlefield, it will bring back my Burnished Heart. And that is going to be it for me. Okay. To the so, Ali, if you can hang on, I'll get you some lands to get some Sire's Triggers. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, I'll, I'll play a land, and I'll do a trigger here. We'll exile the top Thank two. Thank you, Chase. You're welcome. I got rid of a Crosa Grip and a Command Very Tower. Nice. Get those lands. Okay. Oh, and I get another egg from Nesting Dragon. Um. Let's see. And then I'm going to tap High Market and sacrifice my egg to gain one life. And then we'll flip to reveal. So let's see. One, two, three. Uh, Marauding good. Raptor. Put these on the bottom. Let's see. And then I'm going Ooh, to like that. <laughs> tap two to tap Atla to make another egg, which immediately dies to Marauding Raptor. 
God. And then I'm going to reveal the top <laughs> until I hit. I got Apex Altasaur. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, um, lordy. It is a 10 10. And when it, you, when it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature I don't control. So I'm going to have it fight the Sire. And that whenever I, I'm assuming that's just like huge. Oh yeah, it's a ten ten. Yeah. Um and let me Super see. Dead. Sire of Stagnation. And it has an array trigger, so it has to fight another thing. So <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to keep fighting things. So Sire was a seven toughness but a five power. So this guy has five life left in him. Um How big is your creature, A-OK? -okay? Uh, which one? The Vold... Vod... Vod... Vadrock. Vadrock? <laughs> yes. It's a 3-3? Three, three. Um, I'll fight your commander. In response to the trigger, because <gasps> I control a commander, I can cast Flawless Maneuver without Ooh. paying its mana cost, so yeah. creatures I control gain indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Ooh. So then it still fights it, so then I have to... It's indestructible. So damage is still dealt to Apex, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. So then I have to fight one more creature, unfortunately. Um, I will fight... Um... Oh, the chat is saying it took two from the Raptor as well. Oh, thank you for saying that. So then it should be dead. Yeah. Beautiful. That's actually great, because I don't want to do thinking brain math. <laughs> I don't like to think. Yes. <laughs> I really don't. Um... So then I'm going to tap, let me see, the, oh, creature supposed to ca uh, cast cost one less. So I'm actually going to tap this for um, one, two, mm, actually, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. One, two, three, four, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to combat. And I'm gonna swing. Does Damia have death touch? Oh yes, yeah, she does. She has death touch. And my acidic slime. Okay. Um, I am gonna swing twelve at Alley with trample. Well, I played against this on MTGO, and that was a very <laughs> scary time for me. <laughs> Probably afford to take ten, so I guess I will block with the acidic slime. Um, I'm gonna tap one two, and I'm gonna heroic intervention and mind stuff as hectable, hex hectable, hex until end, uh, hex proof and indestructible until end of turn. Um, so then ten. I'm actually gonna um, arcane denial oh. that. <gasps> How dare you! Oh. Oh. Well, I will I would, for 10. I would like to get rid of that. <laughs> you are hateful, Benny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you like feel attacked. I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> All right. Well, you get to draw two cards now. Thank you. I was so excited about that, too. Me? I draw two cards? Yes, from oh. the Arcane Denial. Beautiful. And, and then I draw an extra one as well. You hurt my feelings, Benny. I'm sorry. <laughs> but not sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, I drew sorry. a land right on time after the uh, Sire of Stagnation was removed. See, I did that kindness for you. Oh, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh my god, my new emote got approved. I didn't know. So I'll just drop that in chat because it's disgusting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's the picture of me with my turtleneck over my face. I am disgusted. Manicure cursed. I love it. You're right. <laughs> my friend, like, photoshopped my face to, like, look like I was, like, peering out of it. It's <laughs> All right, so let us uh, uh, 
I will play Midnight Reaper. Ooh. There it is. Uh, all right. Um, I will pass the turn to Allie. All right. Oh, um, at the end step, I'm going to do some discarding. Mm -hmm. Let's Here see. Come to zombies. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll discard Cultivate and Lotus Cobra to make a zombie. And I will also discard... Phyrexian Metamorph. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm a disaster. Phyrexian Metamorph and Sunken, Sunken Hollow to make another zombie. Allie, uh, Tim's War in chat asks, where did you get those gorgeous sleeves? Um, these are from Dragon Shield, so. They're very nice. Alright. So, on my turn, I skip my draw step and refill up to seven so i have three cards in hand drawing four okay let's see how big are these creatures it's a five four i don't like that all right Suppose I will start by tapping five mana for a Gilded Lotus. Um, I'll play a Misty Rainforest. And I'm going to cast Tassiger. Let's see, how do I want to cast Tasker? This will do three, four, five, six. There we go. And then I will pass turn. All right. I will untap. Draw, um, play my land for turn. Um, so Ali, you have five cards in hand now? Um, I have four cards now. Four cards. Oh. All right. I'm going to cast uh, Dreamtail Heron, mutating it onto Vadrock. Mm -hmm. Um, so whenever it mutates, I draw a card and I can also cast a non-creature spell. I'm going to cast swords again. Um, I'm going to target Damia. Damia goes away. Okay. Um, then I'm going to move to my combat step and I will attack Benny with my Sun Titan. And when Sun Titan attacks, I get the Flooded Strand back. Mm -hmm. So, Benny, what you got? Alright, I'm gonna block um, Sun Titan with the Farhaven Elf. Okay. So it'll do two points of damage, lifelink, so I'll gain two. Alright. Um, and then when it dies, um, I'll take a I'll take a damage and draw a card, and then I get a Nim Death Mantle trigger. Oh! So I'll bring oh, it I back. I forgot about that stupid Death Mantle. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring it back. So let me draw my card. 
and lose my life, and then I'll go get a basic land and put it on the play about tapped. Alright. So that, was, that was more of a win-win than <laughs> a win-lose. Um, I'll cast Soul Ring, I had my post-combat main phase, and then I will pass. I love your Soul Ring. That is beautiful. Thank you. This is the, the non-foil Command Fest version. It's everyone's favorite Soul Ring. I really like the uh, Invention one. I like my Judge promo one a lot. I have a it's very, a, a, a pretty grody looking, like, 4th edition, not even 4th revised one. And I like, the, I love the look of that. I'm um, a big fan of the, of the Command Fest ones. I really like those. They're pretty. Um, I played a Great Pelt Refuge. I'm gonna gain a life. I get an egg, which immediately dies to Marauding Raptor. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. Oh, jeez. That raptor's just hanging around poaching eggs. Really, honestly? I feel like I'm, I'm very poorly Ur-brask. playing board control here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you got an Urabrass. Wow. Oh, my God, that thunder. <laughs> That happened right as Urbrass came out, so you know he means business. <laughs> yes. It was meant to be. Okay, um, I'm gonna tap the high market to tap the Gruul Signet. Tap Outla to make another egg, which then dies to Marauding Raptor. Um, we'll reveal again. Aww. Awakening Sun's Avatar. Um, it, oh, jeez. It does not destroy all non-dinosaurs because I did not cast it from my hand. Oof. That's a relief. Um, let's see. What am I gonna do here? Um, okay. I feel like I need to do stuff, but I'm scared to do stuff. Um, I, yeah, I wish I could egg into a board wipe, but I cannot, sadly. That would be very <laughs> cool, though, if I could just do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I could do gross stuff. I mean, I could make one very big enemy. Um, <laughs> like, I could be the worst person. Um, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me see. I'm going to click some stuff. See. You know what? Okay, I feel comfortable with this play actually. So I am going to tap one, two, three, four, five, and wait, can I even do that? Is the question. I should be asking myself that smart question. Oh, I can. Yes, I can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm going to cast an austere command and I'm going to destroy all artifacts and all enchantments unless there are responses. I do have responses before that resolves, but the, yeah. I am thoroughly tapped out, so I have no responses. Um, I'm going to fetch down to 33. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the worst. Why is fetching allowed? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my fetch and my burnish tart. Yeah. And um, is it gonna resolve? I believe it does, unless. So when it resolves, uh, because. Oh, I'm gonna see if I. Oh no, it's not something. actually an artifact creature right now, right? Because of mutate. I have not a clue, unfortunately. Mutate is a cool mechanic that also confuses me. No, it's not. Uh, the top card um, sets all the characteristics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played like any Mutate on Arena or Moto, so I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that still on the stack, I'm going to cycle this Triome. Yeah. Ah. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, Alright, well that resolves. pretty much decimates dies. my board. Benny, I'm sorry, you were- that was terrifying me. 
You have okay. so many. Have you seen your battlefield? I think That's it looks terrible. pretty fair. I think it's, it looks fine. Um, and I'm gonna move to combat. And I'm gonna swing. Five in the air at ALK. Wait, hold on. How big is your creature? That's a better question. It's a three, four. Cool. I'm going to swing five in the air at ALK and seven on the ground at Benny. All right. I'll block with... Uh, it doesn't have trample, does it? No. All right. I'll block with Farhaven Elf. I'll get a Midnight Reaper trigger, so I'll lose a life. Draw a card. I'll take five. Um, also, Arctic Amy, we know there's a bit of an echo, but unfortunately we can't fix that. Um, we've tried to, but this is better than Discord, where unfortunately we had robot voices, so I'm so sorry. Um, and that'll be my turn. All right. I'm going to play Lord of Extinction. What does that do again? It's big. So its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why don't you just ask when it becomes very relevant <laughs> so we don't have to constantly track? I'll put a spin down on my graveyard. Okay, what do you what do you have, Chase? How many? Seven. I have seven cards in my graveyard. Okay. I have eight. I have Allie five. Okay. I'll try to keep track. But we'll certainly do a quick rundown if need be. So currently that's a uh, twenty seven twenty seven. <laughs> Jesus, and y'all are scared of me. Hey, I need to, I need, to, I need a blocker of substance here. <laughs> I mean, his commander does have trample plus mutate, so. Though it's tapped, right? It's tapped. Yeah. Okay. Because of her abrasive. It is. See, I'm yep. e even when it's not my turn. I'm still helping. I'm still spreading the love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll pass to Allie. All right. It, I think it's time to uh, do something about this board state. Not oh, a fan. This is, this is gone. Benny, I have eight. My I forgot to kill my gruel signet. Okay. Forgot about that. Oop. Hey. Hmm. All right. I'll start by taking two to shock an overgrown tomb. And I will activate Tassiger. Put the top two cards in my graveyard and return a non land of an opponent's choice. Alright, so I got Ominousies and Sheldred. Um, hey, Benny, what do you want me to have back? Okay, uh, I don't know what you Wait. got in your graveyard. Alright, I got Sire of Stagnation, Acidic Slime, Phyrexian Metamorph, uh, the lands can't pick, so Arcane Signet, Gilded Lotus, Zombie Infestation, Ominous Seas, and Sheldred. Um... So, I think I will give you um acidic slime okay and back to nine um then i will attempt to cast damnation Ooh, sad 
I have no responses. I have none as well. And I have no responses. All right. <laughs> Examination. Uh, Vedrock gives him command zone. So I lose two life and draw two cards. Oh, thank God I don't have to keep track of that uh, Lord of Extinction, though. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm done with my turn, then. Okay. Uh, um... I will cast this tormenting voice, um, discarding this cult of mind, and draw two cards. I will play my land for a turn, and then I'm just going to cast this. Humble, pouncing shore shark. I love that. And then I will pass. Okay. I like the art you have for it way better. Right. Yeah, the um, special art, yeah. Alrighty. I really like all the special art for the mutate cards. Indeed. Yeah, really cool. I really like that there's an option for people who don't like foils to mm -hmm. get these alt arts now. Yeah, definitely. Especially because the foils have been so low quality. Like, um, I'm gonna do six, and I'm gonna play my commander again. Uh, Atla Panini. Um, and then I am going to. So Lesnia Sanctuary, and I'm going to return this mountain to my hand, and I'm going to pass the turn. Alright. Alright, I'm going to play a Reflecting Pool. And I will play Mortivore. Hey, love Whoa. that card. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, uh, Mortivore's power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So I guess we gotta count again. Sorry. How dare you make me count? It's creatures? Yes. I have four. I also have four. I have seven. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> okay. Mortivore loves your graveyard. I, I can tell. I don't I don't like him liking my graveyard, though. Alright, so he is just a little 1818. Plus, he regenerates for one black mana. Oh my god. And he's a Lurgoyf. He is a Lurgoyf. Oh my mm -hmm. god, that is cool. I love his art. <laughs> he's like Tarmogoyf's big brother. The sexy big brother. I mean, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so I will pass to Allie. Lands. I'm not used to untapping things. Or paper in general. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna play a mana crypt. Um, tap six mana and cast Moldrotha. Oh, I love Moldrotha. She makes me very happy. I'm gonna play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Let's see. Um. For an artifact, I will cast Arcane Signet. And I guess for an enchantment, I will cast Odysseys. Uh, 
And then I will play a breeding pool tapped and clean up my battlefield while I pass turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Um. Let's So Allie, you didn't play any creatures out of your graveyard, right? No, I didn't, so it's still four. Okay. So for six, I'm going to recast Vadrock on top of, or actually under my Shore Shark. Um, so, oh, I forgot the Shore Shark has Flash. That was a misplay. Um, anyways, well, I get two mutate triggers, so I'm going to return. Um, I'm going to return Alapolani to Chase's hand. How dare you? And then I'm going to cast. Uh, non-creature card with converted mana costs three or less. I'll cast the Tormenting Voice again. I do have to discard a card um, as an additional cost. Mm. So I'll discard this Council's Judgment and draw two cards. Anton, have a good night. I'm sorry you're having a rough one. Please get some sleep, okay? Because I know it's late where you are. I'll play a land for turn. Um, and then I will pass. I can't believe you bounced her to my hand. I know, right? That hurt my feelings. So, so rude of me. It was rude of you. You should know that. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Cool. Bill, hey, thank you for the subscription. How are you? Um, okay, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. For, you guessed it. Here she is. Um, and then I'm gonna tap one, two, three, and four. And I am gonna play an anointed procession. Um, and then for my land for turn, I'm gonna play a cause and do refuge. I'm gonna gain a life and I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay, um, at the end of your turn, I am going to flash out C Dasher Octopus. Mutating hey. onto mutating onto the uh, underneath the Mortavor. So whenever he would deal combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. Every time I see that card, I think about Emma's tweet saying that that was going to be like the best card ever. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's just like in my mind. Like I don't know standards, so I don't know, but I feel like that's really good. <laughs> Alright, so then I will draw. I'll play a Drowned Catacomb. focus on this camera it's just so I need all right let's take a look at Brokos here it's time for some mutating so I need two green So 
to green. All right, so I'm gonna mutate Brokos underneath Mortifor. Mm. This is scary. I'm not <laughs> feeling this. I'm not feeling it now, Mr. Crab. <laughs> going to go to my attack step. Terrifying. I want to attack Chase. Why? <laughs> she has 53 life. Um, how much, how big is Broco's board of war right now? So, 18, 18. 18? <laughs> with trample. Are you oh, serious? You're, you're fine. It doesn't even uh, You know what? I'm going to take a block. Wait, that's commander damage. No, wait, yeah, no, I'm blocked. Wait, no, hold on. Yes, it's your commander. Damn yes. It, Benny. <laughs> Sorry. I'll block. I've done, I've done nothing all game, so here, here's my flex. <laughs> How much am I taking? What's the toughness of your... She's a uh, two, three. Okay, so you take 15. Jesus. That's commander damage, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Benny, I'm disgusted. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I like this uh, uh, mechanic anymore. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to draw a card with Emma Handy's best card in the set. Yeah. Also, Phil, I'm doing pretty good this weekend. How are you doing? Tired. I'm doing tired, but I'm doing good. Yeah, I've been very tired this weekend. With your deep, bassy voice. Yep. I'm not feeling well, <laughs> and I drank a heroic amount of alcohol on Friday night. So. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll pass to Allie. Alrighty. Somebody please get rid of Mortivor. What? Yes. <laughs> it must be done. Um, Alright, so... Are you cool for my mana crypt that I roll a die? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say odd. It's a what? I don't take damage. Alright. And then I draw for turn and get a counter on Ominous Seas. Mm hmm. Don't really want to kick Chase while she's down, so I won't do that. Please don't. Why don't you kick Benny? He is open to be kicked. I am open to be kicked for sure. Mm -hmm. This. All right, this is a good one. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Um. For an artifact, I will cast Gilded Lotus. And then for a creature, I'm going to cast Sheldred. Oh, that's not good for me. Four, five, six, seven. It's a good one. Um, and then I will also play a Collation Relic. Um, way too many permanents right now. Bring these down here. Um. Alright. Um, I'm gonna move to combat. And I will swing six at Benny. Okay. I have no blocks. Hurts, doesn't okay. it, Benny? It does. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I'll be passing turn. Alright, uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I sack of my commander, uh, put Bedrock back in the command zone. I now have five creatures in my graveyard. Untap, draw, um, play land for turn. Lands do I have a lot? One, two, thirteen. 
Yeah, Shield Dread is not... <laughs> is pretty good against Mutate deck, turns out. <laughs> Indeed. My one savior. <laughs> Um, so I am... going to cast... For five, I will cast the Souvenir Snatcher. And then for eight, I'm going to recast Vedrock below the Souvenir Snatcher. Um, so I get two mutate triggers. Uh, the first, when it mutates, I gain control of target non-creature artifact. I'm going to choose Ali's Gilded Lotus. Um, and then the second Just allows pass it through me... the screen. It'll, it'll, get <laughs> <laughs> it'll get there. It'll get there. Um, allows me to recast and... I will cast Council's Judgment, just because it's more fun. Um, uh. So, Will of the Council, each of us votes for a non-land permanent I don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes, or tied with the most votes. Um. So, we'll be, there will be four votes. I start. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, I'm going to vote for Shieldred. Um, I, I, feel, I feel I'm going to vote for Mortivore. I will also vote for Shieldred. Uh, what is this? So it's... So it's... So at this point, Allie, you can either vote for Mortivore, and that will get exiled as well as Shieldred, or you can vote for anything else, and only Shieldred will get exiled. <laughs> uh, t t t tough uh, bargain there. Uh, I, yeah, I guess... Um, I'll also vote for Mortivore. Alright, so both Shieldred and the Mortivore monstrosity are exiled. Alright, and I will put my commander back in the command zone. And that is my turn. That's a pretty good turn. <laughs> there it is. Okay, um... <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> that laugh, Chase. What? I've done nothing. <laughs> a mountain. I gotta look at this real quick, like... Yeah, we're... Yeah. Um... I'm gonna tap... Um... One, two, three, four, six, okay, I'm gonna tap... One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven... And eight. And I'm actually gonna tap it so that I don't tap my juggle shrine instead. So we'll do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll tap like the rogue's passage for like eight. Um, and I'm gonna cast Praetor's Council. Oh jeez. So I'm gonna return all cards from my graveyard to my hand and exile, and I have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. I'm gonna negate that. How dare you! <laughs> Sorry. You just I Benny. <laughs> Benny! <laughs> Benny and the Jets, you are making me want to cry. I can't do anything else, <laughs> Benny! <laughs> Passing the turn. Hey, Thrama King, how are you doing? I'm doing sad, but you know, it's, it's fine. To be fair, that's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, that would have been very bad. <laughs> I was so excited to get everything back. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sorry. You, you keep scaring me, Chase. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boo. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Alright, so I'm going to cast uh, Agent of Erebus. What so. is that? Oh, okay. oh, I don't like this. 
constellation, uh, when agent uh, enters the battlefield or another enchantment enters the battlefield, I get to exile all cards from target player's graveyard. That's literally the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> Wait, that's uh, that's terrifying. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did something happen with Chase? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm Does it resolve, Allie? I don't, I, I'm biting. I know you could potentially have a force of will or something. Yeah, it, it resolves. Okay. All right, so, Allie, I'm going to exile your graveyard. Since you have a Moldrotha out there. I heard of a lot of good stuff. That hurts. I know I've... My pretty damnations in the exile zone. That way you can just look at it whenever you want, though. You don't have to worry about it getting shuffled back in your deck, or... That's fair. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Alright, uh, and then I'm gonna cast, uh, Scavenging Ooze. There he is! That boy! And I will pass the turn to Allie. Benny, for a graveyard deck, you sure hate graveyards. <laughs> <laughs> right, that just that move just power. Pa powered down your uh, <laughs> your Mortivore and your. Yep. Well, I, I like to have a lot of ways of interacting with my opponents, um, but then sometimes I don't draw those. <laughs> All right, for Mana Crypt, I'm going to say odd again. Oh, nope. Ouch. <laughs> All right, we'll draw a card. Put this up to two. Also, um, Grama King, you're right. Benny is not feeling the love. <laughs> Let's see, right. this turns into a black mana, I guess. Um. So black mana. Play the get rog monster. Get rog. That seems pretty good with Maldrotha. though. Alk. Um. Amy and chat asked. I still don't know how Alk cast the council's judgment. How did you cast it? I cast it from the trigger from Vadrock when okay. it mutated. Um. So I cast it for free from my graveyard. Yeah. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven plus two. We'll replay Damia. There she is. Arctic Gamey says, Mutate is weird, that is for sure. It Mutate is, is weird. <laughs> <It> is weird. <laughs> Does anyone have spooky lands? Um, um, I'll, I'll just pass turn. That, the wait. spookiest, I think, is Chase's Hightower. Um, Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to combat. And I have, I have I'm a going high to swing. And a passage. High market, not high tower. I'm going to swing six at Chase. Why? Everyone else has creatures. And you hit me for 10. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. You were the aggressor. Benny hit me for 15. <laughs> like, I've been hurt enough. <laughs> um, and then I'll pass turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Interesting. Oh, uh, I don't know what this is going to do this game, but I think it's going to be funny, so let's find out. <laughs> That's um, never what you want to hear. <laughs> so, we're going to tap six and cast river's rebuke targeting alley <laughs> what 
Yeah, well... Yikes! That's... Um... Let's see... Oh, well, get rug monster is still in play. Does anyone have spooky lands? Chase had high market. I have a high market and a rogue's passage, but that's it. I just have mana producing lands. I have an opal okay. palace, but I don't know if you would call that spooky or not. <laughs> Plus uh, lumbering falls. Please don't kick me. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really have a lot of land, so I don't really want to wasteland you. Please don't. Um, I don't think you can activate Lumbering Falls, right? No. Alright, I will hit the Lumbering Falls and draw a card to get Rock Monster. Okay, I will float a green mana. Okay. Okay. And then all non-land permanents go back to, from Allie's board go back to her hand. I thought that was everybody's Joke. for a second, and I was like, oh shit. No, it's only one player. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm not gonna oh. lose life to Mana Crypt anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna tap this Gilded Lotus for three mana, and cast this Windfall. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, that's wild. <laughs> Okay. So, I think Allie probably has the most cards in her hand. <laughs> Are we all going to be drawing however many cards she discards? Yeah. yeah. I have three cards. I had two. <laughs> See, there you go, Chase. You get more cards. Yay. I think you're, Allie, I think you're sound cut out. Oh, I am going to put Damia back in the command zone, and I discarded nine, so I think we all draw nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Jesus. Eh. Alright. Alright, this hand slaps. I can do something with this. I felt Lexicon. like we were we were we were reaching a slow point in this game, so <laughs> G3 Lexicon, hello friend, how are you doing today? Um four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll play a land for turn. Graveyard as a graveyard deck. Nothing great in there. Betty, are you lurking in chat? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna attack Benny with my commander. It's a four four flying first strike. Alright, I have a green mana floating, so as you go to your combat step I gotta use it. Um, so I'm going to okay. scavenging use to exile the Moldrotha from Allie's graveyard. Ooh. And, this uh, is so rude. I'll gain a life. And then in my post-combat main phase, I will cast this Geist of St. Traff. I love that card. Wait. How much damage did you deal to me? I, okay. Four. Four, okay. And... Um, this idyllic tutor and why not this land tax which I don't think will do anything because I have the most lands but <laughs> <laughs> I will search for my enchantment Uh, the enchantment I'm searching for is a ley line of anticipation, Ooh. and that will go into my hand. Then I will pass. 
Alrighty. Also, thank you everybody in chat for hanging out with us. We have 40 people in chat right now, which is pretty cool. So thanks, you guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's actually really fun. Alrighty. Let's see if I can redeem myself in some fashion. I'm going to play an exotic orchard. Let me count if I can do this. Um, I'll tap two for a Boros Signet. I'm going to tap my high market for my Boros Signet for one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to cast my commander. <laughs> there she is. Um, eight years later and eight mana later, we got her back, baby. Um, I am then gonna tap one, two, three to play a Kinjali Sunwing. Um, and which all of your uh, creatures enter the battlefield taps. Don't like that. Um, and then I'm going to immediately pass the turn. Okay, um... So, Allie, I'm gonna eat one of your creatures out of your graveyard. Alright, um... Let's see what you got. Gitrog, monster, and acidic slime. Uh, Gitrog. And Ma Arcana Life. Magic Mimic, I'm sorry you haven't been able to play EDH, but please, please, live vicariously through us. I, I have taken some hits, and it's sad. Yay, command tower. It's bad that I'm already like thinking of decks, the cards that I cut from this deck while building. <laughs> that should probably still be in here. <laughs> is this your first time playing it? This is. Well, then, yeah, it's normal, though. I need to update this with the new um, Aquaria stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of dinos in Aquaria. Although the best ones are like wedge colored, so. Yeah, that's true. But did you see I drew a little dinosaur token that I didn't get to play? Nice. Right? The spirit. He's a little cutie. All right, Chase, I'm going to... Why? Nuke your procession. Stop <laughs> it, Benny! <laughs> <laughs> you were making it hard to love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've drawn, like, all answers, it seems. I'm not drawing all my kill cool mutate cards. <laughs> You're hurting me. <laughs> I'm just trying to slow you down to, like, a regular Atla Polani deck. <laughs> Rick, this is a dinosaur <laughs> tribal death. Yeah, it's not even a combo at the point. <laughs> <Combo. laughs> not playing combo. What? There's only one. Well, there's, there's two combos in here. Um, and I haven't hit any of them, so. Rip. Alright, um. Thank you for cutting out that quote, Megan. I appreciate it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so ALK, -okay, I'm gonna attack you with a four-four scavenging goose. I will take four. And I will pass turn to Allie. All right, time to not make friends this turn. <laughs> oh, so, so far you were making friends. I was. <laughs> That's how I make friends. All right. Soul Ring. Hey, there it is. Alrighty. Better advise Soul Ring. Um, all right, I need to tap mana correctly. So one, two, three... And four more. Alright. 
Next bloom ancient. Yes. Wow. Wow. I love that card <laughs> so much. Right. I, uh, it is time to yeah. not make friends. Yeah. Um so with three green. Uh that's six colorless, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a fair amount of mana for one card to produce. Oh, one mana card to enters. produce. <laughs> it enters tapped. Um, so let's see. We'll go down to one colorless and one green and play Avenger of Zendikar. Oh, ho, 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 ho. five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine. Um, that was a called shot. It was the cold shot. I, w I will draw something prettier when my turn is passed, but for now, these are the nine sapperlings. Um, I don't think I can... Oh, wait, I can do more things. Um, Farseek? Nice. And that um, gets, puts a counter on each of the sapperlings. Yeah, so we're gonna get one counter on them. Can I do more things? Probably. Put an island into play. Tapped. Alright. And then... I'll play a land for turn. We all have swamps. Yeah. Woo woo. See, I'm doing everyone a favor. We have swamps. Um and then I will pass turn and draw pretty sapperlings. Okay. Untap. Uh no one has more than fifteen lands in play, correct? I believe so. <laughs> yes, no, not even anywhere close. Yeah. The Je Gino Jess guy, the best ramp color. Right? <laughs> so broken. I'll play this command tower as my land for turn. Um, I will play my ley line of anticipation for. And then I will um move to attacks so i will attack um benny with my souvenir snatcher monster mutation thing and ally with the geist of saint traft uh, when the geist attacks i get an angel and the angel is actually going to attack um actually the angel will attack chase so just to even things out everyone's getting attacked how big is the angel again uh, four four. Okay. No bugs. I take two. And you're flying bird again. I'm sorry. It was four. Also a four four. Okay. Just getting my little bit of chip damage in there. Um. Then I will cast. Actually, I'm not gonna cast anything. Why? Why would I? I have everything I can do is flash speed now. I pass. Okay. Okay. Draw. I'll do a forest. Um. And I'll tap one, two, three, four to play a parallel lives. 
Okay, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> tap two. To tap Atla to make an egg. But I get... I have, a, I have a response. To my parallel lives? No, to you tapping Atla. To me tapping Atla? Okay. Yep. Alright, so... I'm going to cast one of the two overpowered green cards that was uh, kept, um, printed in Ikoria. Mm -hmm. Barrier Breach. What does that do? So exile up to three target enchantments. I'm going to target Nyx Bloom Ancient and uh, ALK's Leyline and the uh, and then your enchantment. Okay. Oh, I have, re I have a couple of responses now. Ooh, I figured you probably... Ooh, ooh. I I'm forcing it, my hand a little bit. Here, so, man. for one, I have so. For five, I will cast my boy Savine the Chronoclasm. Nice. He enters tapped, and then for one mana, I'm going to cast this Blasphemous Act. I think I was in res uh, I cast this in response to you activating the egg. So I think when everything settles, you'll have an egg. You'll have an egg, Chase. Well, there, there's my egg. Oh my god, this game has so much interaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Yikes. Yes, indeed. So now she's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already played a land for turn two. Um Okay, I guess so I'll just tap my Blossoming Sands, tap my Boros Signet and a Jungle Sh uh, my Ripbound Crag. For Three to get a mirror entity. That's an egg too. It is an egg. Glad you can see the genius behind egg it. Egg tribal. Egg <laughs> tribal indeed. It's one of the lesser known tribals. Two, three, four. Um, I am very sad. I'm gonna move to sadness phase and then pass to Benny. <laughs> Hello, friend. Hello, everybody in chat. What do you think of mutate as a mechanic? Because we have two mutate decks in here, and it is very interesting to see played in paper. It's doing a. It's doing work, I think. I, I mean, it's it's got some like card advantage issues to it because like you can get like a board wipe really, and any single target removal too. Like, but. I think it, I still think the mechanic is too complicated to really work in paper. So I'm gonna play uh, Mold Drifter. Is that the pretty Mold Drifter? It is. Oh my god, I've always wanted that pretty Ooh. art of Mold Drifter. So one and two. And then I am going to play. Trigon Predator. I love that card. It's so gross. To the skies. And then I'm going to play Path of Ancestry tapped and pass to Allie. Uh oh, I'm getting carried. Also, Kyoji, I agree. It is a, it's a complicated bestow. I love that. And Phil, yeah, right. there's too many judge calls for Mutate. Alright. Four, yeah, I haven't drawn too many five. of my mutate cards, so I haven't been able to give a good judgment as to how good it is. I mean, yeah. it seems cool. Ah, uh, Nixilis. That's the land call boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Alright. So, landfall. Um, right. Who... Alright, 
AOK, you're at the highest life, so I will target you with this trigger. Okay, I will lose three That's life. Three one one counters, and then I will scry one. Um, I'll put that on top. Um, I will pass turn then. All right. Untap. Still have the most lands. Draw. Um, I'm going to play my land for turn. Somehow I still am drawing lands as well. You um, have so many lands. Be, I wouldn't be playing my boy Savine if I wasn't al also playing his Reclamation. Oh. So I will get a permanent card with CMC. Three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield, and that will be this Geist of St. Traft. Then, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten oh mana. God. I'm gonna mutate <laughs> Vadrock on top of the Geist of St. Traft. Crazy. Um, Crazy. That's a lot. <laughs> so. Um, I hope everybody else is packing their shadow spears. <laughs> oh. Uh, when Vadrock mutates, I can cast target non creature card with converted mana threat through less, so I'm casting Savine's Reclamation. I'm going to get end up getting three copies of Sveen's Reclamation because it, <laughs> it was cast from a graveyard and then Savine himself triggers. Uh, it's because it's my first instant or sorcery cast from my graveyard each turn. That is disgusting. So I get three permanents back. Um, so I'm just going to get this... Burnished Heart. I mean, it's like, my permanents aren't that great. But <laughs> I just wanted to do it. <laughs> it's impressive. Yeah, Burnished Heart. have a little fun. You can have a little fun as a treat. Mm hmm Soul Ring. And then... My walking atlas. Hell yeah. Um, and everyone's creatures, so I can't really do anything else. Pass. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay. Draw. I'm gonna play a Temple of Abandon and I'm gonna scry one. I don't want okay, that. I'll point out that you accidentally have a human there in your mutate deck. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but Savine just seems so good when you're casting spells for free from your graveyard. Six, seven. Wait, hold on. No, I can do this right if I put my brain to it. Okay. Tap this, tap this for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, okay, here she is. <laughs> As one expensive commander. She is she is pricey, but she's worth it. Um I'm then going to tap my high market to sacrifice my egg to gain a life and pray that I can get something worthy really good okay <gasps> yes oh yes i got thermopod another sack outlet another sack outlet <laughs> oh, i love thermopod so much okay i'm gonna sacrifice my mirror entity to thermopod for one red floating oh my god <laughs> let us do this oh my god Silverclad Ferocidons. Oh my lord. I don't know what that card is. 
I can click it and find out. Yeah, I know. Thanks, see? play or spell table or whatever you call it. Oh. <laughs> when it is dealt damage, each opponent sacks a permanent. Nope, don't that. like that. <laughs> this, this, yeah. Um. I. Jesus. Sadly, it's can not, five. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a he's a beefy boy, but I can do nothing so i'm gonna pass the turn to benny and benny if you target my commander again i swear <laughs> i'm gonna sob i mean you could attack with your thermopod right no it doesn't have haste uh you can give it haste with the red snowman that you have floating oh what do you know I mean, if you I wanted to, ev everybody's like got it. blockers, so maybe you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> you were trying to trick me. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> crafty, Benny. You're crafty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, everyone's got scary stuff now. Spend an extra with Opal Palace. So Brokos is going to come back uh, mutating onto Mold Drifter. Mm -hmm. So since that's the second time I've cast it for my command zone, he'll get two plus two, uh, plus one plus one counters. And also, I used um, Path of Ancestry, so I will um, scry. And I will bottom it. And... For my next trick, I will cast Bitter Blossom. Yes. I love to see it. And then I will pass turn to Allie. Alright, at your end step, I'm going to try to draw three cards. Sounds good, good to me. me. Cool. Draw a card. What's the high CMC everyone has? Seven. Five. Five. do uh, and I want to cast it I was thinking of pernicious deed but I think they do the same thing so hmm. I 
can't even like attack. All right. Well, I guess we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and play this for seven. Damn it, oh, granite! Please. In response, granite. <gasps> I will sack my <laughs> burnished <laughs> heart. You keep doing that. <laughs> And then I don't have any other responses. Unfortunately. Alright. Alright. Great. Um, <laughs> guess I'll play Waterlogged Grove and tap it for a green. I'm just gonna like, put the amount of mana, extra mana it's gonna cost, instead of how many times I've cast it so far. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Uh, Could I actually do one thing uh, in response to you doing that? The Gaze of Granite? Yeah. I'm just gonna tap my Jungle Shrine for white. I'm a Shields of Velus Vel, and I'm gonna make all my creatures an egg, and I'm gonna do an egg trigger off of Silverclad <laughs> dying. <laughs> actually, all your creatures Hey, Chase, all yeah. your creatures are dying from the Gaze of Granite. All of them? Because it's... Yeah. Oh, with yep. X or less. Oh, well, then never mind. We'll just put that back in my hand, forget that I had that, and it's totally okay. It's great. Wait, no, no wait. I'll, still, I'll still do that. Yeah, duh. Yeah, you'll get three triggers. We'll do that. We'll get three triggers, and she'll cost 12, <laughs> and it'll hurt my soul, but it's fine. <laughs> also, Allie, your Gilded Lotus goes to the graveyard. Cool, I got a Zakama for my first trigger. Jesus. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Second trigger, I get a gift shot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and for my third trigger, I get an Itali. <laughs> oh, so we might just be dead, everyone. <laughs> I tried wow. my best. Oh, my God. Um, all right, I already lost the life to this and playing this and probably dying. <laughs> oh, right. crap. My turn. Right. Yeah. Uh, right, oh, that isn't Chase. How many lands do you have in play? Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. See, AOK okay just wants to rub it in that he has the most lands. Thirteen. So you have Gisha or uh, um, Zakama I lands. Do. I do. Have is Zakama. what I'm asking. I got Zakama. Dang lands. it. <laughs> See, so like, when you have Zakama lands, it doesn't even matter. Like. <laughs> All right. Well, I am going to ponder my options. <laughs> and Magic Mimic, I agree. That is worth the 12 mana commander, so we'll go with it. Heck yeah. That is worth yeah. it. Yeah, you just got how much mana in free cards? <laughs> <laughs> Nine, eight, so that's 17, plus six is, uh, that's math there. I'm choosing to shuffle. Oh, no. I am so sorry for these <laughs> Oh my god. We didn't realize that those were all eggs. <laughs> Off the top. That's not gonna do it. Fam. Ah, oh, jeez. Um... I mean, I got it right. Like, it's it's <laughs> like it's just gonna be a, a speed bump at this point, but it's at least a speed bump. I'll cast Flood of Tears, so it returns all non-land permanents to their owner's hands, and then um, the other part doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right, just because I love searching for lands, I'll play this Wayfarer's Bobble and crack. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... A-okay. <laughs> Draw. I'll play um a mountain. Okay, let me make sure I do this right. How much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. At least Atali can't attack this turn. 9 plus 8 
I can't didn't Chase try to tell Allie that she didn't have hardly any lands? I didn't. Allie said I had no lands. I was like, <laughs> I like, she targeted you. I was like, <laughs> Looked like she had like four. I'm like, I I'm didn't. not gonna be mean. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I played my land for turn, so I'm just gonna tap two and we'll play my Boros Signet. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Um, okay, hold on, I'm trying to do math. Okay, um, I'm gonna tap the mountain to tap my Boro Signet for one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and I'm going to cast Zakama. And when she ETBs, if I cast it, I untap all my lands. Alright, wait, I have a response. Yes. <laughs> I shake my fist in defiance. Stop it, Benny! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Oh, oh I, thought you were, I thought you were, I thought that was a car, name of a card was fist in defiance. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, don't you dare, Benny, I swear to God. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. So I'm, I'm giving you the I'm giving you the Kirk face. The Kirk face. Chase! <laughs> Chase. Um <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. And I'm gonna play Gishath. Um it's just like last turn, except she actually paid for her spells. <laughs> she actually paid for her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, five, there's no like enchantments out, are there? No, there's no non-land permanents on the field. G G bums. Um. G bums indeed. Okay. I'm gonna move to combat. And Gishath has haste, so I'm gonna swing. Seven at Benny. <laughs> Fair enough. And when she deals I... combat damage, I reveal that many number of cards from the top of my library and put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I completely whiffed that. Um completely Yay! whiffed it uh, just 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 horribly whiffed it i got an hope. egg i got an egg <laughs> that was it um two three four five six okay then i'm gonna just do one two three four five and six for a second main and then i'll play a tolly and then that's my turn all right. Come on, sweetness. Oh, yeah. I wish the comma dealt damage to an opponent, but it's just to a creature. <laughs> oh, poor you. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky off of my Velus Vel hits. Like, disgusting. Yeah, I, I think those are, like, the three best hits you could have, In besides, like, Polyraptor and, like, the damaging one. Yeah, Polyraptor, Marauding Raptor, or maybe Zatalba. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Polywog Symbiote. Nice. And then... I'm going to mutate for my graveyard. Green... Green. Black. And morphic pool. So I will mutate Brokos out of the graveyard on top of the polywog. 
And with that one mana discount, I basically activated the Opal Palace. So I'll get two counters on there. And also, uh, I will cast, I will get a Scry Trigger from Path of Ancestry. And let's see, whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card, then discard. So I'm assuming I can stack this to where I can scry and then draw the draw. discard. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right, so scry. I'll put that on the bottom. And then I will draw and discard polluted delta. And then I will I haven't played my land for the turn, so I'm going to play um I will play breeding pool tapped. And then I will pass the turn to Allie. Yeah, Polywog! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. I will play Tatyova again. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. You're okay. Alright, five mana. Um, I will play Castle Vantress. I will gain a life and draw a card. Alright. I will tap three for Dryad of the Alien Grove. The Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> the Nip <Let's>... Slip Dryad. <laughs> um... I'll play my second land for turn, Watery Grave tapped, I gain a life and draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. Um... I will tap this island and sacrifice Waterlogged Grove to draw a card. I have to say, I really like Spell Table because when you click the card and you type it in, it shows you the price of it too. That is oh, nice. Yeah. That's good for chat. Oh no. Um, and then I will pass turn. All right, on tap, upkeep, draw. Uh, all right, I will play a I'll flashback this Sabine's Reclamation. Oof. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, when it's flashback, I get two. It's copied. Um, so I get two permanents. So I'm going to get back my Geist. And... My Soul Ring. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. For Vedrock, <laughs> Apex of Thunder. When it mutates, I am going to cast. Bring in the Thunder. Uh, what are cards in hand? Three. I have four. I have five. Uh, yeah. I'll windfall. Okay. I have a response. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Jesus. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, All right, someone's even... going to need to tell me how many cards I draw, because that's, that's a lot. You draw 20 cards. <laughs> Alrighty. And we all discard our hand. Yeah. I'll we draw all discard 20. our hand and... <laughs> Casually and competitive thanks. MTG, thank you for the raid! Thank you guys so Just much! Just in time for Allie to draw 20 cards, <laughs> too. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, and I got, I got nothing after that, so... Right. Well, I think you've done hand. enough there, A-OK. -okay. Yeah, it's totally my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help. This hand rocks. <laughs> yeah, your 20 card hand, pretty good. Um, <laughs> Amy, Ali had five cards in hand. Um, Benny had four, and I had three. So because of the windfall, Ali would draw 20. Oh, I did have four because I played the Notion Thief. Oh, uh, so 16. Um, I can shuffle this and just put four back, or shuffle four into my library if that is an acceptable fix. That's if totally you shuffle. Enough. Yeah, shuffle and put four back, I think. Because these are all, like, random anyway, so... Yeah. It's four. <coughs> shuffle those Sweet back in. Sweet Jesus. Okay. It's time to go with God here, because... Oh, Lord. Well, Allie, you might be dead at the end of yeah. Chase's next turn. <laughs> That's scary. I'm sorry. That is terrifying. <laughs> But at least Ugh. you did it in style. That was a beautiful play. That was truly a beautiful play. <laughs> Are you I, think da I think Damia would be super proud of that. She would be. Yeah, that's a very oh, Damia oh. play. Look at, look at all these cards. It's so glorious. <laughs> I'm going to die with these cards in my hand, but that's fine. That's all that matters. Alrighty. So I'll... it's already Chase. How many lands did you have untapped at the beginning before your turn started? Um. Before, oh, is it my turn now? Yeah, just one. I only have one, so I can't. Okay, it. great. So you couldn't have activated the common no, response. No, not at all. Okay, I draw <laughs> my first card. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good card draw. Um, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Um, Jesus. I need, okay, hold on. I gotta do some math, which is the worst kind of math. Okay, um... I'll block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Let me see how, what I can, how much I can do here. One, uh, two, three... Two, three... Let me see. Wow. Somebody mind twist for 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... So, I'm going to... Activate Zakama. I'm gonna deal three damage to Tatiova. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, and I'm gonna deal three damage to your Notion Thief. I will not be stealing any more draws. One, two, uh, I think you three. <laughs> you I'm got gonna, your money's worth. <laughs> I'm gonna deal three damage to your Dryad. And I'm gonna tap another three, and I'm gonna deal another three damage to your Dryad. Okay, I am then going to move to combat, um, and I'm going to swing, let's see, how much damage do I have? I have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I have 22, got 22. Alive at five. I'm going to swing everything at Allie, because she's scaring the shit, that was absolutely terrifying, and you have 20 cards of answers. So oh, this event just kills me. Um, um, Atali. And Atali, um, so I get to exile the top card of each player's library, and I can play it without oh, passing no. it. <laughs> I will take everything except Benny's card, because I can't cast it, so I believe I have a Grave Titan and a Narset. And a Narset, <laughs> yep. Okay, so let me just quickly, what is the stats on Grave Titan? Is it 6-6. Six, six. Six six, zombie boy. There he is. <laughs> there he is. And then I have Narset. No cards for you. What's her loyalty? 
Her loyalty is five. Five. There she is. Um, and then I also get a Gishath trigger, so I have to reveal s whatever, seven cards, and if I get a dinosaur... Oh, what's my top card? My top card is a rock egg, so I will cast a rock egg. Um, and then I'll do the Gishath, so... Dang it! A world's fire worm, but that's not a dinosaur. Dang it! An impervious great worm, that's not a dinosaur. Okay, Temple Altasaur, three, four, five, six... Seven. Okay, I got one dinosaur off of that. Um, put that We're on so the sad. I know, <laughs> and I got I got rid of two big worms as well. Um, I do. Do I get two zombie tokens from Grave Titan? You do. Okay. Little zombies. I'll go ahead and I'll um down tick Narset. How? What's her minus again? Is it minus two? Or three. It's two. It's two. That's minus two. Okay. Sorry. So I look at the how many top cards? Top four non creature non land. Two. Three. So Italian should be tapped too, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. The other two um, gigantic dinosaurs do not. I'm gonna Do I have to I don't reveal it, do I? Uh, you do reveal it. And the cards go on the bottom? The rest of the cards go on the bottom in a random order. Okay. I'm going to reveal um, a Sundering Growth. Ah, okay. Put that okay. In my hand. Um, and I am then going to pass the turn, and I am going to draw some zombie tokens while I do that. Alright. I have no cards in hand, so this ought to be sweet. Come on! Come on! Huh. Alright, I will cycle the fitted pawns. Come on! Come on! Yeah. Okay. Super unimpressive. Infinite tokens, yes, I'm going I'm going all over the place here. I'm not an artist, but I'm trying to be one. I also Reassembling skeletons. A, a gilded lotus. <laughs> Alright, and I will pass the turn to Allie. I'm alive! Uh, yeah, I was alive somehow? I didn't have enough damage. I guess Benny doesn't want to kill Allie because she has 20 cards and can deal with Chase, hopefully. Right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose if I die, that's, like, maybe handing the game to Chase. Yep. I mean, I think Chase is probably is still in a pretty good spot. <laughs> hey, Emma! Hello! Alright, what, what are the creatures looking like in everyone's graveyard? For no suspicious reason whatsoever. <laughs> I got too many. Let me put them all on the top. So, I have my boy Savine, my walking atlas, my burnished heart, my souvenir snatcher, my pouncing shore shark, my sun titan, my dreamtail heron. So that's all terrifying. Emma, thank you for the host. Thank you so much. Yay, this is so great. I um, do still have Lord of Extinction in my graveyard. Oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I also have Multani, which could be pretty big. Um, I've got a lot of utility <laughs> creatures, so Mold Drifter, if you want to draw even more cards. God, Rise I'm of the gonna Dark Realms start would be with. Terrible. Oh, do you want to know what's in my <laughs> graveyard first? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's let's see ours. I have a Awakening Sun's Avatar, a Galta, Urbrask, Marauding Raptor, a Nesting Dragon, an Apex Altasaur, a Chicken Egg, Regisaur Alpha, Burning Sun's Avatar, oh, Mirror Entity, Kinjali Sunwing. A thermopod and a silver clad ferocidons. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I got a lot. I was like, I really hope you want to see what I have in my graveyard. Alrighty. Well, we'll still start with a tent with discovery. Oh. I'm not feeling tempted. I'm, I'm not good. either. I'm doing great. No one's tempted? I... Mm -mm. Are you, are you uh, tempted, Benny? Yes, I am tempted. <laughs> <laughs> I have no cards in hand. I've been ramping the entire game. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. That's a good one. What else? Definitely getting that one. Alrighty. Um, so I'm getting a Reliquary Tower and a Bajuka Bog. Interesting. Who are you bogging? Does this come into right. play um, untapped or? Uh, however, it comes into play. Okay, excellent. Um, so I'm targeting Chase with the Bajuka Bog. Alrighty. I'm getting a Castle Vantress. This is a meaty. Gr this is a meaty exile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a meaty exile. One, two, three, four, uh, uh, five. Four living death. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do anything about that. Oh, fuck. I get nothing. Oh, wait. They're, uh, it's sacrificed, right? Uh, each player exiles all creatures from their graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures, then puts cards exiled onto the battlefield. Okay, so I do get a 3-3 bird from Rock Egg, but that is it. <laughs> so, Your graveyard was really scary, I'm sorry. It is extremely yeah, terrifying. Yeah, Living Death would be very a bad. For um, me. So I'm going to uh, let Vedrock go to the graveyard and then bring it back. Um, from the living death from the sun titan trigger I have uh, lots of triggers I'm sure you do they they go to the graveyard right or yep. okay cool my tokens go away Or I put my triggers on the stack first and they resolve last, is that correct? Or is it... Yeah, because you're the active player. So, okay. Um, Alrighty. Benny, me, then Chase. Or right, Benny, me, then Allie, sorry. Chase does not get any triggers. I get an egg, though. <laughs> you get an egg. Little, little um, my, Benny, you have triggers? I do. I have... Uh... A mold drifter trigger, far hive and elf. I'll resolve those last. Uh, Agent of Erebos, Reclamation Sage, and Death Gord Scavenger. Um, I, I actually only have two triggers. Okay, so Allie, you don't have. I, I got rid of Majaltha a while back, so we don't have to worry about your graveyard per se, I guess. So I'm going to Agent of Erebos, um, ALK's graveyard. Okay, so then I don't actually get Vedrock back, so it will go into the command zone. And with Death Gorge Scavenger, I'll um. Do you have uh? You don't have any creatures left in your graveyard, is that right, Allie? That's correct. All right, so I guess um, do you have a creep? Well, no, I guess uh. All right, um. So you may. So yeah, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Um, Nyx Bloom Ancient. I'm gonna destroy with Reclamation Sage. No, I don't get anything because. Um, um in response, I'm gonna float an ass ton of mana. Okay. One metric ass ton. All right. One. All right. Let's see. We have. Uh, green, blue. This one will be black, I guess. Oh, that's way not enough dice. Alright, let's try again. Green, blue, and black. 
All right. So let's do three blue, three black, three more blue, uh, three green. Um, let's do three more blue and three more green. Okay, and then I will um, search up a basic uh, land, put it into play tap, and then draw two cards, and then my triggers will be done. Um, I don't have any uh, triggers, so... Egg. Okay. Um, <laughs> Egg. So, Egg. I guess with acidic slime? Hmm. You can get rid of the burnished heart. It's a second response. <laughs> it's the principle. Um, there's not really a good target. There's a. I have a signet, but I think that and the burnished heart are like the only two. It's not a good target because I'm just gonna <laughs> sag it at the end of her turn. It's the principle. <laughs> um, sure, I'll target the signet. And then I have a lot of sapperlings again. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 sapperlings. Alright. Can Are I there... continue on with my turn? <laughs> They're plants, right? Um. They're sapperling. Or no, they're plants, you're right. They're plants. Yeah. Okay, alright. My bad. Alright. What do I want to do first? Oh. Oh, the dryad's in play. Alright. Uh, land number one, I will... Oh, jeez. <laughs> put counters, get a zombie. This board is awful. Land number two... I guess I will play a Scryland. I tried to draw Danny ah. DeVito from memory. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Put this on bottom. All right. How are we feeling about ending the game? <laughs> I, I think we've all see we've all gotten a chance to show off what our dicks can do. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Um. Uh, we'll get rid of three black and math is really hard. Uh, four of the blue and cast a Nexus of Fate. <laughs> yes! Okay. Oh my god. Um, and then with the rest of my mana, I guess some is technically floating. Um, I'll cast a Cyclonic Rift out <laughs> In response, I'm gonna sack my burnish shirt. Oh <laughs> my god. My egg. Well, my bird. Alright, in response to the Cyclonic Rift, uh, I'm gonna... So I'll actually, like, do mana. I'll exile your Nyx Bloom Ancient and gain life. That's already... Oh, okay. I, I get... Yep, the GY. Um. Yep. Uh, I guess everything bounces back to my hand then. At least I have a full hand. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the bright side. Alrighty. Well, I don't have to discard. So I will move on to my extra turn. Well, I guess I have four blue mana still. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Ah! Land, please. Um... How much damage? This is... So... 16 times 4? Is that enough to kill everyone? Maybe? Probably. 16 times 4 
That's 64 damage. Uh, Jason and I are at 54 combined. Benny's at 19. Okay, so, you know, so that's not, not enough yet. Um, I won't miss triggers this time, so let's play land number one. Get a different zombie. No, this is not a thing. Alright. Um, not forgetting this trigger. Um, I will target Chase with this one. I'm losing three. How much am I losing three? Yeah, it's three, and then I get three counters on this. Um, I'm gonna um, respond to and something. A sec. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna tap my exotic orchard, and I'm gonna path your Avenger. Okay. Um, but so that triggers sick. still. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess I will search for a land. I think. get another zombie um another trigger here so uh chase take another three yeah what are you getting zombies from uh the field of the dead oh okay let's see a uh, second land for turn there's zombie, another trigger. Um, hey Chase, you want to take three? Yeah. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna oh. like. This is so messy. You're good. I'm sorry. Also, infinite Ugh. tokens. These little the little chips are really great for tracking commander damage. I've noticed because I can't do it on any of the overlays I use. This is kind of nice. <laughs> um, I'll cast Uro. <laughs> so, gain three. Put another land into play, do more land stuff. Um, Penny, take three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I am at 16. Oh, escape Uro. Thank God you got rid of the Avenger, or those plants would be enormous. Yeah, I was like, I go I'm gonna do it before it gets crazy. I could see all the land stuff, and it made me scared. It's like a little bit crazy. Still, so I'll gain three, draw a card, put in a polluted delta, uh, landfall, three more to Benny. I am at 13. Lucky 13. You I'll could die to fetch decophobia right now. Down to ten. I could. I love that card. I wish it was used more. <laughs> doesn't uh, doesn't the trigger have to take you up or down to thirteen, and then you die? Just want to ruin my fun, eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> probably um, you're probably right. Another <laughs> land. Well, actually, <laughs> just saying. If you're gonna ALK throw out. can take us. Actually, no. Chase is right. <laughs> you lose someone loses the game each person with 13 loses the game and then a player gains or loses life alright this is 6 times 3 this is embarrassing I don't know thank you Logan yes way to mansplain <laughs> I'm just kidding I love you okay. <laughs> 21 all right, I'll move to combat. Yes. So this is 21, 22, 23 at ALK. Ah, uh, yeah, um, that's enough to kill me. Let's see. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and one of these at Benny. So that's... 12, 13, 14, 15 at Benny, and the rest will be at Chase, so that's 
15 times 3. I was getting so excited. I was like, 15, I can do this now. <laughs> so, in response, uh -oh. oh no. I'm going to I'm going to put reassembling skeleton into play tapped and then I will not block. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, right. I was terrified. <laughs> All right, here, oh one sec. God. Here's my lands. Here's the rest of my cards. I'm going to mana weave real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. That was something else. Oh, my God. That was a great Good game. game. That was. That lasted a really long time. It yeah, it did. did. <laughs> Remember when I was like, if it goes over an hour 45, I'm pretty sure it did go over an hour 45. <laughs> oh, my God. Good win. Seriously, that was great. <laughs> oh, this deck makes me so happy. It just kind of goes off sometimes. Dom Especially when you draw good. 20 cards. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, that, 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 that helps a lot. <laughs> that, was a, that was probably one of my favorite plays I've seen on stream is just like a windfall for 20. Okay, here is Notion Thief. Notion Thief. <laughs> oh my god.